Hey guys, Johnny here from TechMajesty.com. Today I'll be showing you how to unlock your T-Mobile Samsung Galaxy Note 10. The phone was just released today and I'll be showing you how to unlock it step by step through this easy process. Now I'm going to show you this on the Samsung Note 10, but this method will work on the Samsung Note 10 Plus, Note 10 Plus 5G, and all other T-Mobile Samsung phones as well. Our T-Mobile Samsung Unlock will unlock any T-Mobile Samsung phone regardless of any outstanding balances, financing, blacklist status, contracts, etc. With our T-Mobile Samsung Unlock, you do not need to use the Device Unlock app to unlock the phone because we unlock the phone by connecting it directly to the Unlock server. What makes our T-Mobile Samsung Unlock special is the ability for the phone to be used both domestically in the US and internationally with any GSM carrier. What that means is that once we unlock your T-Mobile Samsung phone, you can use it with any GSM carrier in the US. For example, AT&T, MetroPCS, Simple Mobile, Cricket, Straight Talk, etc. can all be used on your T-Mobile Samsung phone once we unlock it. Besides being able to use the phone in the US, you can use your phone with any GSM carrier of your choice internationally as well. The unlock will not affect your warranty, it will increase the resale value of your phone, and you'll be able to use the phone with any GSM carrier of your choice. To unlock the phone, you will need a Windows computer and a USB cable. Now that we have all that ready, let's begin. The first thing we will need is the 15 digit IMEI number which you can get by going to the dialer of the phone and dialing star pound zero six pound. This will give you the 15 digit IMEI. So now that we have the IMEI number of the phone, we will go on the computer and open the internet browser to go to techmajesty.com. Once we are on this website, we will go to the Samsung Unlock Code section. Then we will choose the Samsung Galaxy Note 10, since that's the phone we're unlocking today. Then for the carrier option, you will choose the carrier your phone is locked to. So after you have chosen your carrier, then you will go ahead and enter the 15 digit IMEI number that we got in the beginning of the video then you have the option to choose these three optional services the first one will make your phone work on Verizon plus all other GSM carriers as well if you only want to use the phone on GSM carriers after the unlock then no need to choose this option second one is the bloat bear removal service which will remove all carrier branding from your phone and make it into a stock Samsung phone and then the third one is express processing to get your unlock done in one to two hours. Again, these are all optional services and are not needed for the unlock. Then you will go ahead and click on the add to cart button and go through the checkout process to complete your order. Once you complete the checkout, you'll receive an email within the stated delivery time frame informing you that we are ready to begin the unlocking process for your phone. The email will look like this and say order and closed. The email will contain a download link to the USB redirector which is basically a software our technicians will use to access your Samsung phone and complete the unlock. The email will also contain a link to our live chat where our technician will be with you during the entire unlock process. The whole process will only take about 5-10 to 10 minutes for our technicians to finish unlocking your phone. All you have to do is plug in your phone to the computer and we take care of the rest. Now I'll show you step by step how the process will work. So this is the USB redirector software I was talking about. The first step will be where our technician will ask you to plug in your phone to the computer using the USB cable. Then step 2 and 3 will involve the technician working on your phone's unlock. Then the final and fourth step will be your phone being permanently factory unlocked. Now that the phone is unlocked, I'll insert my AT&T SIM card into the phone and show you guys that it's working. Here's the AT&T SIM card. As you can see, we have started receiving signal and AT&T is listed at the top left hand corner of the screen so that means the unlock worked perfectly. So guys, it's as simple as that to unlock your Samsung phone 
and to start using it with any GSM carrier of your choice in the US or internationally. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and don't forget to subscribe if this video helped you. Thank you so much for watching.